Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jared here, and today we're going to be back with another episode of Shooting Things. And in this one, we're going to be on Moscow with, uh, I don't even know, it's the Bullfrog. And actually, I, the Bullfrog is insane. If you guys haven't used it, you need to. Even like in the beginning, like when you start using it, it's eh. But as soon as you get like a compensator on it, or not a comp, yeah, a compensator and the foregrip on it um it just absolutely melts people it's just a laser beam there's no recoil almost no recoil i don't want to um say there's no recoil but also i am recording this at three in the morning because that is my dedication to get a video out because i miss two days even though you know every time i try youtube i always and i feel motivated in the beginning and then just if I miss one day, then I just continue to miss days. It's like the same thing when someone starts to work out. And I actually shoot at a gun here. Um, I go 54 and 7 in this game, I think. And that's mainly because it's hard point, though. Because you can just... Everyone's so focused on the hard point that they don't even care about you. And um, they just, like, ignore you, basically. The in this game, there's actually if you, if any of you play CS, there's recoil control. Like it's consistent every single time. There's no uh, spread, like the randomness in the recoil. It's the same every time, and I figured that out using the Mac 10 because the Mac 10 has an insane amount of recoil. And I'm like, how do people kill me with this? It's like it's not even good. And I ended up using it. And I sprayed it at a wall twice, and the bolt holes lined up exactly. So basically, you just have to find it and then keep using that. And you really only have to learn the gun you're using, and you can learn that in 10 seconds and just keep doing it, and it gets burnt into your memory. And I go 7 and 1 here, I die to a guy using a Mac 10 staring at the floor. Um, even lots of the kills, not lots of them. Uh, some of them come from the war machine and the cruise missile. I go on a 17 kill streak. I want to say just from using the war machine, not just from using it, but the war machine added a lot to it. I you do have to use um kill streaks though to get uh high amounts of kills. If you don't use them, you're not gonna do that. I expect that's like. That's one of the main reasons I changed from using just easy kill streaks to get that are low score, so you can get them lots of times throughout the game, to using the cruise missile, which is like consistently a kill instead of the artillery, which is one kill if you're lucky, three kills if you're super lucky, and I got distracted because I was looking at myself tabbing out or not tabbing out of the game, but looking at the scoreboard. And I've been trying to figure out the feeder mode, and that's just not it until they come out with a new update that makes it so you can remove the controls. I try to shoot this through here. You can also press E above um, trophy systems and field mics, which actually destroys them instantly, and you don't have to shoot them like waste a bullet, which is actually really helpful. I do not recommend using these on or using this on proximity mines because that will absolutely not end up good. But like right there, I only used 20 bullets to kill two people, and those 20 bullets, I killed them in like half a second. Not half a second. Half a second is like a not even close. But I killed them really quick and there's 50 bullets in the magazine and that's not counting if you add the, the magazine attachment maybe you want the 62 bullets and here's my cruise missile this one actually isn't the best i get to this game probably i fit it through that little hole there in the top though which is definitely takes a lot of skill not to brag or anything it really doesn't it was by accident i didn't even know he was inside honestly this person shoots at me and just runs right back through, um, acting like I'm not there anymore, which is 
if you shoot at someone, they're gonna be there. I'm going 20 and 3 right now. I get the war machine really soon. Uh, 130. So that's like three kills. I don't have a spy plane called it. I hate when you're like 15 points away from getting your kill streak, and you can't get a kill, and you just can't do anything to get those 15 points. I don't know what I was thinking there. I looked at him and then I just ran at him. And I also the drop shot wrap it like makes it like seem that you want to drop shot, but really drop shotting is not a good thing to do. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Oh I'm just gonna stop talking about that because this is where I go on a tear with the war machine. Uh, one bullet, two kills. I get this guy all the way. No. Well, I get him, yeah. I survive some lucky ways around here, though. That was good. I think I probably hurt him because that was quick. I, my reactions are really slow. Yeah, so I only used half the bullets and I'm already up to a 10 kill streak. Um. I don't think I get to use all the bullets. Yeah, I die coming up soon because this person. Um, I don't remember, but I remember lots of my deaths. Not, I don't have a lot of deaths though, so I'm just gonna say most of my deaths in this game are from really dumb things. I switched to the shotgun here because I'm thinking, oh, maybe if I switch to the bullfrog uh, after I use the exec. Not the execution. What the? Uh, yeah, I censored myself just because. I'm only 17, so I'm not old enough to swear. Yeah, this is one where I get two kills. That last person died, and I thought he went through here, but... Um, the war machine, I thought I could switch back to it after using the... After shooting it. But I actually don't... I, I don't know why I said I didn't... Or I died coming up, because that was not true. And I don't know if people kill themselves with war machine, or war machine so easily. I do it more with the China League. Uh, that kill right there was actually pretty good. I kill this guy, yep, I get onto my 17. And it might be that same guy that comes back through there. And he seems ready for me for some reason. Even though you'd think... No, that's, that's a different guy. I'm just now realizing that, but... I don't know why he was so ready if it was a different guy. I'm just... You know? When you play COD... You just have to learn not to question things because people get I don't want to say lucky lucky is like what I say just because I want to make myself feel better about dying to them but really it's honestly probably um, some skill involved with it and when I talk I kind of like swivel in my chair which is not good because I bump into my mouse and it uh, moves my mouse and it just ruins everything you know this is uh, it was really close to happening, and I think this is actually coming close to the end. Yeah, drop shotting there because your range of motion decreases, and I think you might aim slower, but I don't know. So now it's kind of people jump a lot, but I like to spam crouch, not spam it, but like do it in intervals, like crouch up, crouch up. Just so they can't stay in your head, even though lots of people don't even aim at that. I know right here I spend a lot of time trying to get this field mic. Time and effort. Yeah, right there, I could have killed those people if I didn't have low health. Uh, the best part is that I, or not, I, my team, they're going for the objective, objective a little bit. But not too much because it's 180 to 197 so they extended the game a lot for me and i didn't ask them to but they did it for themselves i guess because they wanted to win i don't even know who wants to win because winning doesn't really matter in this game right unless you're doing search and destroy search and destroy is that's hard for me though this is a, usually i go around the outsides of the map and that's how I'd play it, but I guess going to the objective um, around here, like near the objective, usually you want to play 
not around the objective, but close to it. Close enough so that the enemies come to you, but far enough away that they're not ready for you to be there. And I somehow got that kill. Yes, it says prone block, so that means I focus so much on trying to um, drop shot him that I don't even get the kill. And my kills must slow down here because I have something close to 50. Unless I get more than 54, which would be interesting. Honestly, Moscow might be a better map. Not like a huge improvement, but if they got rid of that side lane right there just so that it's a fight and you can't die from different, completely different spots. Especially on like game modes like Search and Destroy where you only get one life and you can't die to really stupid things. But I'm starting to learn how to die less, I guess. I'm not getting to high deaths and high kills. Now it's starting to be high deaths and no high kills and low deaths. Not really, but my KD's going up. It's like a 1.35 now, I think, and it was a 1.27. But anyways, if you made it this far, I want you to. I I would love it if you would like, comment, subscribe. But if you don't, that's fine, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.